Hello, my YouTubers. How are you going? Uh, today, uh, we're going to work on something a little bit different. Um, a lot of my uh, Wolfpack and YouTubers say they like to buy themselves an EMP pump, okay? Um, which is cool and everything else, but they are they are rather expensive, and you could easily make your own uh, cheap, okay? Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to make an EMP pump for pennies, okay? Uh, because I don't think uh, one other thing you're gonna need that's not here right now is a container So it could be like a small margarine dish or whatever to put it in uh, when you're ready to use it, you know, but You can figure out your own container uh, Very simple, but anyway, let's just see if we can if We can get on there. There we go All right, so there's what you need Now take this out first That's my socket and this is one of those uh, little motors that you get out of a PlayStation or you get them at the, any Radio Shack kind of a deal store like that. And there's a flat magnet on here, okay? Now, technically, this magnet should be horizontal, okay? Not, or ver vertical rather than horizontal, laying flat. Should be standing on the edge for maximum EMP because of the universal north south polar opposites of track crap. However, Lying flat, I mean, it's still going to do the same job. It's still going to do it, but um, if you if you use a glue gun, uh, which I don't have, is why I just put electrical tape for this for this um, quick experiment. But what you do is you run a glue gun across, and then you stand your magnet up and you hold it till it's it's good and dry, and then you're set. Um, however, this will still work uh, for this demonstration. Okay, now I'm going to put it in this socket because this sucker's going to bounce all over the place once it starts. Okay, now, here is my K2 meter. All right. Let's turn it on. Try to get a good angle. There you go. <coughs> so there's the, um, there's what we got. All right, not a hell of a lot, huh? Okay. Well... People like to get EMP pumps so that they can charge the area so the spirits can use that energy. Okay, well, first you're going to need is a 9-volt battery. All right. Or you can use double A's if you get one of these. Take this out of something, you know, or get it from Radio Shack and just put double A's in. Uh, but I had a 9-volt battery, so that's why I'm using this 9-volt battery connector. All right. Then... All you're going to do is you're going to take the black wire and the red wire and hook it up to the black wire and the red wire on the little motor thing. Okay, so we're going to do that first. So, for the demonstration, I'm just twisting this on here. Okay, I mean, you want to twist it, tape it, and all the other stuff when you're doing it for, uh, you know, to use it permanently thing. Now, we can hook in an off-on switch, but that gets a little more complicated. Not, not much, but why do you need an off-on switch? You just take the battery off and it's off, right? Put the battery on and it's on. So, there you go. Okay. So, just by connecting or disconnecting the battery, it's going to turn on or off. Okay. Now, once again, there's your there's your EM from the magnet. Okay. It's keeping that one leg pretty good. Okay. Now... We'll take the battery. We're going to hook this on. This thing might bounce all over. I hope not, but... Yep, it will. <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to have to hold this with one hand. Somehow. Stay on there. Okay. This is a little bit more trickier than I thought without having this in its container. Okay. Uh... See the lights? Right up to the red, see? So every time you touch that, the EMP pump is pumping out a shitload of, of uh, power here. Can you see that light if I just leave it like that? Because that'll make it a lot easier to demonstrate this. What if I put it on the 
side. Hopefully that'll work better. I'm trying to do it in a way that it doesn't disconnect it right away. There you go. See it? That's the EMP, that's the EMP pump, okay? No EMP. Now your pump's on. And off. Okay? So basically that's it. It's all you need, okay? Now I hope you find this useful and feel free to use it. But like I say, all you need is a battery and some wires, okay? So you need this cap or this one you can put double A's on, all right? You're going to need your little motor, and I'll take this apart now. And all this is, is just a little magnet. I'll let you see it up close. Just a little magnet, okay? You can probably get those at the dollar store. And uh, then this is just a little tiny, little tiny motor, right? And that'll put out enough EM, EMP uh, uh, to uh, basically um, <clears throat> make any of your equipment go nuts, okay? So what you want to do is you want to leave it run for a bit. You put two or three, you can build two or three of these, put them in a room, leave it run, and then come in and it's going to have all kinds of energy in there. You won't be using your EMP, detect, EMP detector because it would be worthless because it's going to be full of, of stuff, but you could try... Uh, doing some uh, EVPs, you could try doing some pictures, take some pictures, you can try doing all kinds of other stuff um, in order to to see what type of uh, benefit running the EMP pump actually is. You might get uh, still pictures or you might catch something on your camera. Uh, you might catch a great big shitload of orbs. You might catch uh, great EVPs. You never know. Uh, but you can, you can fill up a room uh, with uh, the EMP pump and then see just you know how much uh, difference it makes with or without it you know so you can try the room first without it then then set up everything let it run for you know 20 minutes close the door uh, go back in there and try again with everything and see what kind of a, a success uh, rate it, uh, it gives so anyway I hope that's been helpful uh, enjoy talk to you soon